Hi Capricorn, Vince here for 7th Tarot. Welcome to your reading. Capricorn, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, and I'll see who's coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And stay tuned till the end of your reading. We'll use Oracle cards and I'll pull your affirmation for today and a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. See what we got going on for you today. Whoa. So this is a very powerful magnetic energy here. Right now, the fact that you have the Empress and the King of Swords here lets you know that you have this very beautiful, powerful magnetic energy that's attracting all the right things. And right now, you're attracting someone who has the intellect, wisdom, and really the strategic energy of the King of Swords. Now, this person could be more of a mentor teaching you and guiding you how to create wealth, or this could be someone that's romantically connected to you. And right now, both options are there and one could lead to the other, right? So for, for at first, maybe you guys started dating, like my wife and I, and then maybe you start doing business together, right? Like we own Airbnbs together, Amazon businesses together, we day trade together, we have YouTube channels, so this can be done. And right now, your angels and guides are telling you to radiate the energy you want to attract and this will manifest immediately. Because remember, you always manifest who you are in your life. If you tell yourself, all right, so, who do I want to manifest? I want to manifest someone who is happy, healthy, joyful, someone who is financially stable, someone who is exciting. Great. You got to be that person. Wake up at the time you want them to wake up, eat the food you want them to eat. Think of the, sh the, the shows, watch the shows or have the thoughts that you want them to have e like electricity, electrical current. Immediately your manifestation comes to fruition every single time. That's the best part. Uh, right now, uh, source is telling you because you got the devil and the seven of swords that there is some sort of love block here that is preventing love from flowing. Now, this can be because of limiting beliefs. This can be because of childhood traumas, past experiences. But Source is telling you to let go of the how and focus on the why, and this love block will be cleared. Let go of the how. How am I going to be my soulmate? How is my current relationship going to get better? Don't worry about that. Focus on the why. Why do you want to meet your soulmate, right? Ask yourself that. You want to meet your soulmate because you are want to experience life with another human, right? Um, like for example, like whenever you're in a moment, you know you take a picture and you post it or you send it to your friends and family because you want to experience that moment and that's what's going on. So when you tell yourself, you know, rather than say like, I don't, I want to be with my soulmate so I'm not lonely, right? Scarcity mindset. Instead, you tell yourself, I want to be with my soulmate because I want to experience a vast amount of, 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 of moments and situations and opportunities and outcomes with that special someone. That's when immediately your energy changes, your perception changes, and now that person enters your life immediately. Now, look at this. The fact that you got the star card and you also have the two of cups, it lets you know that you anything you touch right now will turn into gold now that two of cups could be romantic energy or it could be a business energy or it could be both and this is why right now that that, that king of swords energy this is going to be something very powerful for you something very majestic something very enticing something very uh, uh organic is about to manifest for you and right now source is telling you that abundance flows where appreciation goes so in order for this to happen just be appreciative and grateful then the abundance will come whether it's love, money, or health, right? And really, it's not, not putting the cart before the horse. Like, I'll give you an example. I always treat anything I want as if it's a person and I want to date them. When you first want to date someone, what do you do? You woo and impress them. You go the extra mile, right? Like, when I met, first met my wife, uh, uh, Alicia, you know, lots of roses. Till this day, I give her flowers because I love flowers and she loves them. But, you know, uh, you go the extra mile to make that first impression, right? And that's what's going on here. So like, for example, if I knew I wanted abundance and abundance was attracted to appreciation, I would just walk around and be appreciative for everything. I'm so appreciative it's sunny. I'm so appreciative it's raining. I'm so appreciative there's traffic. I'm so appreciative there's no traffic. How? It's raining, more luscious. Traffic, great. I'm going to throw on a podcast, right? It's easy to do so, but it's all just awareness. It's just knowing what to do, knowing what not to do. And right now, Source is telling you that all you have to do is focus on what you're looking for and not what you're not looking for. And that is the first step into getting what you're looking for. Now, look at that. You got the Harmony card, Blessings, Hope, and Enlightenment. This is absolutely crazy. What is happening here? Source is telling you harmony in your thoughts, melody in your life. 
Harmony in your thoughts, melody in your life. That's when the blessings come, right? So in order to attract happiness and joy, right, you have to radiate that energy. Your reality is a reflection of your dominant vibration. What is your dominant vibration? You know, a lot of times in planet Earth, it's a lot of stimulation, chaos, and fear. That's the dominant vibration. Therefore, like attracts like, people get that back. But right now, if you're aware that, uh-oh, my dominant vibration is what's going to, you know, attract my point of attraction, my power, right? So it's like, imagine if you're holding a paintbrush and whatever you paint comes to life. So if you paint a unicorn, unicorn pops out. But if you paint a monster, a monster pops out. Now replace paintbrush with thoughts because it's literally it. How you think and how you feel creates your state of being. Your state of being creates your reality. This has been proven through quantum physics and quantum entanglement. The days of law, or the law of attraction, real or long gone. So all you have to do is be faithful, be grateful, be excited. You see her, her inner child, right? What does your inner child want? When you were like five, six, seven years old, what did you do? Did you play outside? Did you play with animals? Did you sing, dance, art? Those things are what's going to get you rich. Those things are what's going to bring your soulmate into your life. Because right now, when someone tells me, hey, Vince, how do I meet my soulmate? I tell them, go for a walk. They'll be like, what? I'll be like, go, ahead, go, go read a book. Go watch a TV show. Go call your friends. Go drink coffee at a coffee shop. Which one of these things excites you? All you have to do is the thing that excites you. Once you're there, you are magnetic. Once you're magnetic, now you're allowing the universe to do its job. But if there is any sort of resistance, right? Like right now, if you're telling yourself, I really want to go grab a coffee at the coffee shop and read a book there, but what I think I should be doing is I think I should be going for a walk. Now, if you don't want to go for a walk, don't go for a walk, right? Do not do something you don't want to do, right? It's very, very important. Do something that excites you. Now, obviously, like honor your soul, like don't sit there and eat 20 bags of chips because it excites you, eat one. But at the end of the day, do something that excites you, honor your soul. That is the trick to getting exactly what you're looking for. And you also have the enlightenment card letting you know that there are downloads. There's a lot of aha moments of clarity coming into your life, showing you how to create wealth, showing you how to meet your soulmate, showing you how to be healthy. And right now, Source is telling you, you are magnets, so just track wisely. And right now, if you want the right downloads to come, tune into that channel. Just like when you watch TV, right? When you're watching TV, what are you doing, right? You have a remote and you're clicking on the channel you want to watch. You're not just watching every single channel out there. And that's what's going on here for you. Like when you are, you know, trying to download messages, you know, you're not going to think of every single thought, negative thought, negative thought. No, only think of the positive thoughts. And if you do have a negative thought, switch the channel. Simple as pie. You have a thought. Imagine right now I look outside, it's raining. My thought goes, oh, it's raining. Immediately, if I catch myself and I'm like, that's not going to help me. And I tell myself, wow, it's going to be luscious and green. Boom, there you go. I changed the channel, right? Same television, I changed the channel and I got a new outcome. And right now, look, you got the judgment card, very interesting, and Hierophant. And Source is telling you by tapping into this intuitive energy, this empathic energy that you possess, now your reality, which is a reflection of your dominant thoughts, will create alignment. And when you take alignment and action second, alignment first, man, you are unstoppable and everything will get so, so easy for you. All right, now let's tap into some money and some love for you, Capricorn. I want you to write down the following affirmation in the comment section. And when you write it down, I want you to breathe life into these words by feeling it. Feeling is the secret. This is how you quantum entangle with abundance and become the cause and effect. So write down the following affirmation exactly as you see here. This is one of my favorites. I was born to do this. It's go time. Write this down in the comment section right now. You're letting your angels and guides know you are ready for new possibilities and new outcomes. I was born to do this. It's go time. Write this down in the comment section. Give this video a like. And let your angels and guides know that you are 100% ready for abundance. All right, now final message from your spirit guides. Let's see what the final message is. Whoa. This card came flying out, so you know it's got to be good. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, no, it went back in. Even better. Let's do a new one. Let's gather from the middle. All right, so you'll find what you seek, loving this. You'll find what you seek is the message. Right now, your spirit guides say, if you're ever suddenly found and been, uh, if you've ever suddenly found and been loved by someone amazing, awesome, fun, and fantastic, chances are astronomical you will again. If you haven't yet found such a person, 
chances are astronomical you will see so this is just confirmation right now that the soulmate that you're seeking is there for you and will enter your life through divine timing and divine source and divine intervention and right now the focus on the why rather than the how and it will manifest all right, I hope you enjoyed reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, love is your superpower.